At the middle school level, um, as I mentioned, there's four finalists, Holt Mathematics, Math Connect, Prentice Hall, and Math Thematics. The top two were selected as finalists or as <coughs> recommended programs. And Strategic Teaching on the review um, had a very similar ranking. They slightly reordered and they indicated that Prentice Hall and Holt Mathematics were essentially identical or comparable programs. So they recommended that top three. Again, I wave a big flag that CMP2, Connected Math, currently used in 80% of Washington schools, is not included even on the short list of either group. This program, which has been in place with our middle school students for multiple years, is not on the list. Did I wave the flag enough? Wave, wave, wave. It's not on the list, but. <laughs> so, I want to I want to just summarize with a call to action, and of course we have to plug ourselves. Go to the website, sign up for action alerts, newsletters, where's the math.com. Um, any of the flyers, um, we're we're probably going to put our presentations up there. Um, I also want to say contact the Washington State Board of Education and endorse the recommendations of strategic teaching. Um, we think they're excellent. We think they're very well balanced. And then vote carefully on November 4th, because really, you know, your, your vote is your educational power in this, in this season. Um, on the long term, I want to make a, a couple of long term recommendations, because this is, this is really what I hope you're going to take home, are some really tangible things that you can bring to your school. So how do you make changes? Great, Rick, I heard all this, all this stuff. You just told me a bunch of information. But I go to my school and they say, oh no, we're using this program, we're going to use it to, for the next six years until we get around to another adoption cycle. So, you have some friends, and these are your friends. These books are free. These books contain countless great information. You know, there's, there's some flyers that you can hand out, you can share with other parents. The, this is the National Math Advisory Panel, Final Report, Foundations for Success. And really, it's, it's about bringing mathematics back to a balanced point. So when you're talking to the people in your school, don't just come and say, I don't like the math. That doesn't work. We, we've tried that. <laughs> come out and say, this is what the nation is doing. This is what the state is doing. This is what we should do. Um, reference the strategic teaching report. You will find links to it on the back of this yellow page it says references. You'll also find an electronic version of the National Math Panel Report. Um, there's many research studies on the Where's the Math website you're welcome to use. Um, I want to I want to really highlight the strength of PTAs as advocates. Um, the ma math and science issue is the number two issue for PTA again this year, I think three years? Three years. Um, it's a very important issue. It's, it touches our students, it touches our hearts, it touches our future. And work with your PTA, talk to them, share this information. This is powerful, powerful information. The other thing, you should be able to participate on an adoption committee for your district. If your district is having an adoption, contact the district math leaders and say, I'd like to be a parent on that. Or as a teacher, I'd like to represent you know, my class, my school on this committee and bring this information to that committee. Uh, districts around the state are including parents, and those that aren't are getting sort of shamed into including parents, because we're the ones that are ultimately touched by this more than anyone else. I also want to say contact Where's the Math for, for information. We love to talk about math, in case you didn't figure that out. Um, <laughs> if, if you need a guest speaker at a PTA meeting, if you need somebody to hand out information, Happy to share, happy to share. This other thing, this final point here, which was actually provided to me by a school board member once, he said, if you want to make change in education, you have to be consistent, persistent, and insistent. And I found that to be true. If you pick a message, a sound message, one that resonates, and you stick with it, you will get results. So education, it's a sausage factory. 
It's a work in process. Um, you don't want to see what's going on inside, but you really, really want tasty results when it comes out the end. Um, so you have to be vigilant, and really it's your kids at stake. So I think, uh, I'm just trying to see if I had anything else that I wanted to pitch here. Can I add something to your corporate action here? Please. Um, I think. Let me see. Well, it's okay. Yeah. No, I'll be brief. So one of the problems <laughs> with adopting... Boom. No, it's okay. One of, the, one of the problems with adopting curriculum is that it's very, very expensive. 